And that's a good question. Uh, when you find the solution, let me know. Um, in fairness, I'm very lucky, uh, blessed with a great team of coaches and of leaders that are very easy to motivate. Um, a lot of their, a lot of those guys are self-starters. So in, in effect, every time we, we come to training or prepare for a game, they're, they're up and ready to go. Uh, you know, every week. So I'm very lucky to be blessed with a side that are very much self-starters in that area. Yeah, Noah Bolter, he's a, he's a very good player. He's got the potential to be a, a good player. He's very raw at the moment. Uh, he needs some refinement, but there's certain things in his game that you know are eye-catching. You know, there's a bit of wow factor there in, in the way he plays the game. And he reminds us, I know you say Richo, but he probably reminds us more of a, a young Alex Rance. You know, Alex Rance was a, was a slow burn, took a little bit of time to to get where he is today and, and we probably think Noah falls into, into that boat. Whether he ends up as a forward, a back or potentially a ruck, we're, we're not too sure. We're still trying to find out where his best position is, but I'd be very surprised if he doesn't play some senior football this year. Yeah, thanks, Jake. He, uh, look, he was great. Um, he was a real difference maker in that final. I think he took eight contested marks and yeah, he had, a, he had a day out, he was unstoppable and you know, go down was one of the, the more dominant finals performances uh, of our era, there's, there's no doubt about it, but in, in fairness, you know, he's a, he's a terrific guy, Mason, I, I know him a little bit, but uh, whilst I was happy for him, I was really disappointed with our day, there's no doubt. Yeah, a little bit Luther with the Mosquito Fleet. It's been, once again, because Tom's just started uh, full training now, we've only just started to get a, a real look at it. It does look exciting though. You know, once again, he's got the ability to bring the, bring the ball to ground, which will allow those players at, the, at his feet to, to become involved, both offensively and defensively. So we think it's gonna be exciting for us. Um, it will probably take a little bit of time for, for that whole forward line to gel, but. We think when it gets up and going, it's going to be pretty formidable. Yeah, Oleg's going really well. Um, he's had a, a great pre-season. He's had a, a really poor last two years with regard to injury, so we're really looking forward to him having a sustained run at it. Um, he's in the side at, at the moment, obviously, round one selection. Uh, he's certainly in the mix. We're really excited by him and Connor Menager, what they have to offer. Probably one of those two guys gets to play, so that's a really tough one for us. But both those players, we think, have got enormous potential. They cover the ground well, they use the ball well, and they're both a good size. So we think those guys have got a big future with us. No, the, the Hardwick household is, is finally back to norm. We had uh, we had Sydney stack for probably two to three months just prior to Christmas, which uh, which was great. We, we do enjoy opening up the, the household and. You know, Sydney was a, you know, was an interesting character. He was very engaging, Sydney, and he wasn't backwards in coming forwards. Grabbed the TV remote, changed the channels when he wanted. I helped himself to the fridge, but uh, we're back on our, uh, our lonesome now, the Hardwick. So uh, looking forward to the next challenge. <laughs> Farmy's beard. We got a bit of Kenny Rogers about it, but then the other one, I think, uh, is a bit of Cole, Cole Sandylands, I think. Is he say that was Marby Old Chole? Get back to work, Marbs. Come on, mate. <laughs> it's not the 76 Dim Sims, but um, when I used to walk home in, uh, from Upway with, from the, uh, the train station there, it was a long walk to about a two and a half K walk, I think, to my home. So there's a fish and chip shop on the corner. So I think you used to get like three Dim Sims for 60 cents back then. So we used to grab the three for 60. Um, and that's where it came from. So I do enjoy a steamed dim sim. Uh, I've got to keep off the dimmies now though.